My grandfather in Pittsburgh, he was a steel worker. And he used to take me into the VFW when I was a little kid. Oh, okay. And he'd sit me up at the bar and give me a root beer and a grilled cheese sandwich. There you go. Yeah. And uh, he didn't drive. My grandma would drop us off and pick us up. And uh, I don't remember too well, but you know, I, I do remember it. And uh, yeah, you know. You know, it's little things in your mind, though, that stick forever. Yeah. yeah um, 
my great grandfather was Slovak and he spoke no English. And that okay. was his father. So. And I remember him too, like being a little kid. Today, you know, what's up? And I go to the house of Pittsburgh at Christmas time. I was a little kid, you know, I had white hair, little baby boy. Gotcha. So I go in the kitchen, all the ladies were snacks, you know, I was having little kids like a little kid. They love me, you know. And then I go in the other room, all the men were in there drinking whiskey and smoking cigars and drinking beer and stuff, you know. <laughs> right. Like watching Pittsburgh Steelers and stuff like that. Right. I guess showed Terry Bradshaw in there on the TV, you know. And, uh, you know, it's really the little things in life that count. You know, they bring a smile to your face. You might not for 20 years and all of a sudden something will happen and just bring a smile and a memory. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I love music, man. Oh, yeah, I do too. And I, 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 uh, I can get into anything except this uh, stuff that's out there today. <laughs> rap, I think they call it. Rap? Rap or whatever they hate. There's good rap. There's good hip hop. I've been listening to hip hop since like uh, oh, the early 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I just gave it. What about I punk rock? I, I was going to tape a punk rock band down in St. Petersburg yeah. last night called Piss Test. Piss <laughs> Test. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got to give them credit for being they're creative. From, they're, they're from Gainesville. They're really good, man. Um, I'm going to put that we'll put it online soon. But. Yeah, you know, I just grew up with jazz and Old Town and... Uh, I just can't wrap my hands around that stuff. Yes. But, and, you know, everything. Uh, evidently, it's you know it's popular. It's very popular. I mean, you know, you go in any of the clubs, it's a bang, 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 bang. You know, I mean, I think, I think, I think mean, some like, of it's good. I'm gonna say, I think a lot of music there's there's good parts, there's bad parts, you know. You know, I mean, there is. You know, and I mean, everything, you know. You can listen to some of be like, this is this is really offensive and lame and annoying. And some of it's like, this is really fun. Exactly. Really good. Make you feel good. Make you feel good music. You know? feel good. Yeah. yeah, feel good. But then some of you all, you're like, what, what the fuck is this? You know, like, right. Did they really just say that? You know. So. No, I know. Yeah. I'm the same way. You know, like. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a combination. Of, yeah, I like all kinds of music. You know? I do too. I grew up in the DC area. Let's go like. Um, in, fact, uh, in February, I'm going to see uh, Andre Policelli. Who's that? You know, he, he's going to be right here in Tampa, you know? Who's that? He, he's, uh, he's blind, and he sings, uh, yeah, it's hard to say what he sings, but the guy's got such a voice that yeah. just runs the world. And, uh, you know, Good music is good music. I don't care what nationality is playing it. I have the Greeks have good music, the Jews have good music. Everybody has something. You know, uh, the Polacks. You know, good music. You know? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like half Slovak. I don't even know anything about Slovak music. I'm half German too. I don't know anything about that stuff. I mean, what Germans have like own and like weird stuff, like our cover fest. I need to learn how to Slovak this year. Nobody, you know, I read a. Uh, I think it's the jungle. I read the jungle. And they talk about the hierarchy of like you know, ethnic, social stuff in right. Europe. And they were like, and then there's the Polish, and then the lowest of the low is the Slovak. Like, well, you know, I, I think the word slave comes from the word Slovak. Really? Because they were the slaves of Europe. They were the slaves of Europe. I, they were <laughs> white slaves, but you know, they didn't. Nobody ever looks at it like that because they weren't imported. Yeah. They were there, but they were made slaves out of by the lords and the kings and yeah. all that. And, they, and I think the word slave comes from the word Slovak. Wow. Wow. Because, <laughs> you, because you don't hear of any Slovak kings or no, no. kings or princes. No. no, they were the the lower class people and they lived on the Lord's land and they were sharecroppers. That's what they were, sharecroppers. Well my great grandfather what I heard what they did is you know, they would have been drafted in whatever, maybe made slaves or whatever from the Austrian Hungarian army or whatever. Right, oh yeah. So, so they gave him a suitcase when he was 16, a couple of dollars to get out of here to America. And up in Pittsburgh, the steel mills, and this five brothers that came here, he said he never talked to him. My grandmother said he was a very hard man. And like, he came here and he was like, they didn't look for me, so I didn't look for that fucking. 
What? But she said he was a hard man. I didn't know. Life is hard back then, and you know, if you don't work together, then you walk up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Life or death, right? Right. I mean, I got four sisters and two brothers, yeah. and I only talked to one sister. Yeah. Was, you know, I mean, shit happens in life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, shit happens that just because you're siblings does not mean you're joined at the death. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're joined at the death. Yeah. I just drove to Texas after Thanksgiving. Actually, on Thanksgiving, I left after I ate down here in Sarasota at my girl's mom's house. We drove to Texas that night, stopped in the morning, we slept for every day. On Friday, we ended up in Texas on Saturday morning. We stayed there for a day and a half left Sunday night. My brother and my mom sucked. Yeah, we got there. We went to a dinner at my mom's house. I, I left my sister-in-law and the two grand the two nieces. I got back to the house, got in my car, and left. My brother came back at 8.30 at night. He's like, man, I wish you would have go. I'm like, whatever, you're doing good. He's like, bro, oh, you want some water for the road? It's not on me. Whatever you do, it's not on me. I'm like, yeah, it's not on you, bro. Give me water. Drive. Yeah, fuck you. I know. I've been there. I've been there. Uh, I'm here. I love it here. It is what it is, you know? It is what the fuck it is. Yeah. What a great group of people to get together like this and just jam. It's world class. It's incredible. Yeah, they are. Incredible. They are. Incredible.